My name is Ralph. I am a partner solutions engineer here at Stripe. In my role, I help companies like SAP to bring money movement capabilities and process payments to their solutions and services. And I'm joined today by my colleague, Kasia. Hello, everyone. Super excited to be here. My name is Kasia, and I am an uh, implementation consultant on the Stripe professional services team based out of Berlin in Germany. And I work with our users, help them adopt Stripe product and uh, launch on Stripe. Brilliant. So before we kick this off, uh, I have a question for the whole audience. And please put that on your app in the Q&A. Uh, what is the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear about Stripe? Don't overthink. Just put it there. And we're going to check that at the end. And let's cut to the chase. So with a small story, like a very short story about a business. So naturally, to run a business is a really complex task, right? There are many questions and uncertainties that needs to be addressed in order for things to run smoothly. Fortunately, there is a simple answer for a best run business, right? And we all know what an answer, that answer looks like. However, there are other challenges that a company has to face, from the simplicity of getting paid, collecting invoices, accepting car payments, for example, to also something a bit more complex, like expand to a new market, a new geolocation, or exploring new types of business models, like building a marketplace, or accepting sub or converting some customers to accept subscriptions. All of this and a bit more of these challenges can be summarized in a single question. How do I move money, right? How do I move money from my customers to my business? How do I move money from my business to my suppliers? And if we go a little bit deeper, how do in one go can I move money from the customer to myself, to my business, but also to suppliers, third parties and partners, everything at once? So the answer that we find out there in the wild, talking with customers, talking with companies, is that they find some very, let's say, creative solutions, creative approaches. But the problem with those workarounds is that they demand significant, significant operational overhead. Build those integrations is very costly. Maintain those integrations is a very costly uh, task. But the most important thing is that these kinds of integrations, these kinds of workarounds, they bring no differentiator to the business. There is no value. It's purely an uh, operational burden. Well, fortunately, there is a better way, of course. There is a simpler, uh, a simpler one. And in today's session, we are going to understand and explore a bit more of how a simple combination between SAP and Stripe can unleash an immense value to our joint customers. I'll hand it over to Kasia. Perfect. Thank you, Ralph. So before we go into the details of the solution that uh, Ralph uh, pitched a little bit a few minutes before, I uh, want to tell you a little bit more about Stripe. I bet you have heard that uh, we have something to do with payments, but it's actually more than that. Um, we provide a financial infrastructure that helps businesses optimize the e-commerce commerce experience, help to streamline business operations, basically to improve efficiency and help unlock new revenue streams. But looking at some numbers and to kind of give you a bit of a feeling of Stripe's role in the market today, we have millions of businesses that have chosen Stripe as their financial infrastructure platform. With that, uh, we execute uh, 500 million API requests per day. But I believe what's really crucial and the uh, and differentiator in the market is the so-called five nines that speak about Stripe reliability. You can actually check it out yourself by going to status.stripe.com that will show you the uptime of our different products in the last 90 days. What's more, we are truly customer obsessed. And with that, we've been always putting uh, developers on the first place. Few things that we hear from our users um, is the fact that we have a really easy way to test our products and our APIs with kind of no string attached. It, it means that everyone now can actually go to the Stripe website, 
register their um, their account and try and, and try playing with the products, with the with the dashboard, with the APIs, without any fees, like no need to process anything, just just play and that's it. Moreover, we've been also known for our public documentation. Um, so our public docs provide a pretty intuitive layout with organized navigation, with um, good content discovery, also with a, a lot of live code snippets that are pretty, pretty useful. And what's really helpful is that apart from business support that is 24 by 7, we also have um, available um, um, we, we are available in different developer channels, like, for example, Discord, where you can also just go anytime and talk to a Stripe developer, ask any question you want, troubleshoot an issue uh, regarding your integration, and get the, the issue solved. Also, feel free to check out our YouTube channel, where we uh, provide different uh, guides uh, that will help to speed up the technical integration and also, what's important, decrease the time to market. Another interesting thing is that our products are powered by machine learning, which will, uh, which, which help us produce models that will predict, predict outcomes. For example, with payments, uh, we are able to uh, see the likelihood if a charge will result in a fraudulent dispute. So even though you might have heard that we have something to do with payments, it's actually more than that. And um, yeah, here on the next slides, on the right hand side, what you can see are the different solutions that help different companies that might have different business models manage their subscriptions, help to automate fund flows between consumers and vendors, accept in-person payments, help collect tax, help with fraud detection. But I believe what's interesting is the left hand side of the slide where you can um, actually see a clear picture how Stripe fits in between the financial institutions like Visa, MasterCard, Barclays, Bitcoin, and more, and platforms like WordPress, Shopify, WooCommerce, Jobber, and see Stripe as, a, as this layer with services and support capabilities that power the financial infrastructure for those users that you can see on top, like Amazon, Zoom, Ford, H&M, and more. Um, Sorry, uh, we don't really go after one specific business model or one single industry. We want to partner with companies that are eager to grow their business, to launch new products, build new business models, and overall create best-in-class customer experiences. So they don't have to trade off their time, their resources against the things that they are great at, which are the products they build or the services that they offer. Stripe's goal is to be as easy and as seamless as possible so that businesses can set up their payments in just a few minutes. And what you can see are the, the few, uh, few lines of code, uh, but the thing that behind those few li lines of code, there is actually a lot going on. So in the background, we will handle money movement, communication with different financial institutions, all the legal and regulatory headaches, authentication, tokenization, card updates, right, transfers, payouts, and may, uh, many, many more. So we want to solve for that complexity so that our users can focus on the core business they offer. And if you're planning to open a business, um, you can do it with Stripe, basically from 45 different locations, no matter if it's North America, South America, Europe, Asia, or Australia, you can do it, uh, you can just create a Stripe account in any of those countries and start accepting payments basically from customers anywhere in the world in 135 different currencies with one single integration. Lovely. Um, so one, one Stripe product I would love to tell you more about is invoicing, which is our solution that allows businesses create an invoice and send it to their, cost, uh, to their uh, customers so that they can pay for the products or services with the, the most preferred payment method. And um, you can create it either programmatically using our API or also super easily within the Stripe dashboard where you can also ensure look and feel customization. And kind of the main goal of this product is to help business collect the payment 
and also automate the reconciliation. And uh, now I will hand over back to Ralph, who will tell you a bit more how our Stripe invoice works within SAP today. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Kasia. So yeah, here's where the magic happens, right? So Stripe invoicing is just one of the many building blocks that we can use. And this is the one that we pick it in order to develop a very nice proof of concept together with the BTP platform adoptions team. We are enhancing here in this, proto in this prototype uh, the capabilities of the API management service to go beyond measuring and monitoring API consumption, but we are also collecting payments for their usage. The way that it works is quite straightforward, right? So the API consumer leverages the APIs as usual. At the end of a billing cycle, we created a cap application that will retrieve the data from the API management, and with that data, the consumption data, creates an invoice within Stripe. Stripe then send that, sends that invoice to the end customer, the API consumer, so it can pay using the best payment method for them, their cases. If it's uh, bank transfer, card, net, car, card payments, or any other payment method available. Once that payment is confirmed, Stripe sends another event, this time to the CAP application, so it can flag inside the API management that that specific period was actually paid. And also, uh, one day later, Stripe sends the actual money to the API owner directly to, to its bank account. But better than me, myself rumbling around, showing diagrams and so on, let's take a look at a quick demo. So what you're seeing in here is actually our end customer application, a customer facing application that was developed with SAP Build in a low code fashion. And in here, the end customer will be able to check what is their, what, what is their current API plan, what is the currency, basic rate, and so on. From this app as well, what they can do is that they can check what are their current consumption rates. So what we call application metering. So you can see here, there is an actual bill amount and a number of API calls. Now let's imagine this is the end of a given billing cycle and the cap application can kick off. What is going to happen in the end is that the cap app will check it into the API management for the given consumption on a year in a given month, call Stripe with those, uh, with those parameters. So what is the amount, what is the currency, what is the end customer? And then Stripe will send that invoice to the end customer via email, but it can also access here directly from the app. And what you're seeing is the hosted invoice page that Kasia presented before with the details from the invoice that was billed to this customer, and it can choose to pay with the preferred payment method. In this case, our famous 4242 card, a card that never declines, and you can use that for your next big purchase. After the confirmation is, is sent, uh, this will be generate an event to the CAP app, and the customer can download a receipt, and the actual merchants, the API owner, will receive the money right into its bank account. Pretty straightforward. One thing that is powerful about this application is that although it's very simple, it's a very easy to grasp concept, the way that is structurized, the architecture that is involved into it can be applied to many other business cases. So if you think about any other PTP service that requires some sort of money movement feature, money movement capability, it could be collecting payments, but also could be setting up a marketplace, setting up a subscription, recurrency of payments, for example. We could apply the same architecture. So a cap app that can use any of the Stripe SDK. So in this case, a Node.js SDK from Stripe or the Java SDK from Stripe. So for the cap developers out there, we got you covered. And this will unleash all the capabilities that Stripe has. Everything that Kasha mentioned before, from collecting payments, fraud detection, anti-money uh, anti laundry checks, all of the localizations and everything else that's in between Stripe and all, all the financial infrastructure that it provides with the simplicity of one API call. All right, so let's some actual real use cases of SAP customers that are leveraging both SAP and Stripe. And I hand it over back to you, Kasia. Perfect. All right, so yeah, let's look back um, to kind of beginning of the presentation where Ralph was telling us a bit of a story how um, both SAP and Stripe can work together to kind of help the businesses orchestrate the, the business critical 
finance operations and the payment processes on Stripe. And one example we wanted to talk about is Maersk, which is a logistics company that connects and simplifies um, global trade, integrated Stripe so that their uh, B2B customers can very easily book and pay to ship a container almost anywhere in the world. And they also use SAP so that they can better manage their revenue reconciliation and also some other ERP functions. And as part of our project, we needed to ensure that after taking payments, Maersk will be able to know which transactions were included in which payout, be able to differentiate between the different processing fees, get that data programmatically, ingest it to, to SAP, so that then the finance and accounting teams that are dealing with the reconciliation on a day-to-day -day basis can do it in their main system, which is SAP. And with that integration, we didn't really have to worry about like, making any specific changes in their current processes, which was one of the requirements of, of this project. And um, with Peloton, um, trying to move my slide. Cool. Uh, Ralph, if, if you can move it uh, whenever it works, that would be great. I just wanted to tell you about another example, uh, Peloton, which is also using Stripe to take online and also in-person payments. So customers can, can basically um, um, shop in their physical stores with the Stripe terminal. We had to provide the functionality in SAP um, so that uh, the different events will be triggered in Stripe. Some of those events uh, that, that we had to ensure that, that uh, can be um, triggered in SAP is, for example, capturing a payment once the order was fulfilled, refunding a payment in case the customer decided to return it, or cancel the order in case a, a customer decided to change their minds and uh, do not purchase that exercise machine anymore. And with that experience, we were not only able to provide a great end customer experience, but also for internal users, which are basically Peloton employees that can then perform their duties in, a, in an efficient way. And uh, yeah, with that, I'm going to hand over back to Ralph, who can tell you a little bit about the challenge that he prepared for you. Brilliant. Thank you, Kasia. And yes, we have millions of customers and you probably have experienced Stripe as a consumer, as a, using your preferred payment, payment method. But now the challenge is the opposite. So we are inviting you all to test for yourself. Go to dashboard.stripe.com, create an account in there, it's free of charge, and you have the full-blown capabilities of what Stripe can do. And my challenge here, what we are posing for you, is that if you create any concept that embeds Stripe into an SAP service, an SAP solution, any concept, a prototype, send them to us, record a small video and send, send this to us, and we're going to reward you with uh, some Stripe gifts, some nice swag from us. Uh, also, as well, actually, let me go back. Uh, if you don't feel very creative today and don't want to invent anything from scratch, the amazing friends from the BTP platform adoption team, they created a tutorial on the Discovery Center that you can scan on that QR code and uh, just try the proof of concept that we built with the API management. Last thing that I have to say is that you are definitely not alone in this journey. As Kasha mentioned in the beginning, we have a bunch of development resources. We are a developer first company, first and foremost. So I will point again to the Discord channel. If you have any technical questions, reach out to the Discord channel. There are actual engineers there almost 24 seven to answer your technical questions. Just push in there and you have somebody to help you in a matter of minutes. We also have a bunch of other resources uh, on GitHub as well. And of course, our world-class documentation. So Stripe, said is, Stripe First is really proud of our docs and we set a high standard in the industry with that. So I invite you all to take a look into it and see how, it is, how easy is it to get started. That being said, let's wrap it up. Thank you very much for having us today. And I look forward to see what you guys build with us. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone, and thanks for having us.